Yo, Jay Blank here. Today we are on the Flipper Zero, reviewing my top five modules. Let's go. These are in no specific order, and two of them I made myself. First, we have the Flipper Zero video game module. Mirror your Flipper Zero screen onto a TV. It also has an accelerometer and a gyroscope which is used in a few games to control the movement and other things within Flipper Zero games. I have also covered this device in several videos on my channel, reviewing how to install and create custom games, animations, screensavers, and firmware, such as PicoWare. It is very easy to use Whenever you plug in the module, it says video game module initialized. There are several custom apps for the video game module, such as the video game module tool app, which allows you to install official firmware to mirror your Flipper Zero onto a TV or to install custom firmware from a file. There's also a game remote, which is used inside of the games to make your Flipper Zero a controller. There is an Air Mouse app, which is used to control your computer mouse using the video game module. Next up is the Flipper Zero backpack. This you can find on Tindy and is pretty much a Wi-Fi dev board, but it has an SD card and it fits on the Flipper Zero perfectly. It works exactly like the official Wi-Fi developer board, but because of its compact size, it is very useful for traveling. Next up is a custom Flipper Zero module that I've made from a Pico 2W. It fits right on top of the Flipper Zero perfectly. These Pico 2 W boards can be flashed with Flipper HTTP so that you can give your Flipper Zero Wi-Fi access. Next up is a tie between two IR boards. One is made by Rabbit Labs with a custom case I found on Tindy. And the other is made by IoT Mug the only downside to the IoT mug one is it requires a battery. There is a lot of debate about the IoT mug boards, but this one has been working very, very well. I think the one that people don't like is the addition before this, um, but the infrared turbo dazzler definitely works very well. Um, I have had no issues, um, but it works just as well as the one from Rabbit Labs. Shout out to the rabbit on this board. Here's how it looks on the Flipper Zero. This one has to face the outside like that. And then the battery goes right in there. And then the other one by Rabbit Labs, you just put in, make sure that this is facing out like this. And whenever we use an app, you will see a green glow. Our last board of the day, we have the ESP32 Cam. This is a custom board that I've made. It has two microphones, an SD card, and the ESP32 Cam board. It also has a reset button for easy flashing. Just like the rest of the boards we reviewed today, this board can be flashed with Flipper HTTP to give your Flipper Zero Wi-Fi capabilities, to connect with others on the Flip social media network, to download apps using Flip Downloader, to play multiplayer games, and you can even use this board to record audio and video 
and control it with your Flipper Zero. Today we went over my top five Flipper Zero boards. For more Flipper Zero content, make sure to subscribe and while you're at it, leave a thumbs up on this video. In the description, I left a link to my Discord where you can also connect with fellow Flipper Zero users and stay updated about my Flipper Zero content, tutorials, Flipper HTTP releases, and updates about my coding projects. I'm Jay Blanked. Until next time, peace.